I'm going to discuss how to respond back to a uh, negative review. 70% of buying experiences are based on how the customer feels they are being treated. So it is very important that when you receive a negative review, that you acknowledge it. Um, did you know that if you receive an alert for a negative review, that it is very important to be empathetic with your response? 84% of people trusting an online review as much as a personal recommendation. So responding back to those reviews is very important. I'm going to share my screen. I've got an outline today of some things to um, discuss. Let me make sure my screen is shown here. Just a second. Yep, it's working. <laughs> okay, so first, when you receive a negative review, stay calm. When you see a bad review about your company, the first thing to do is just stop and take a breath. And, and you know, don't just respond in, in like a mad manner <laughs> without thinking things through first, okay? You must respond to the negative reviewer because if you think you can ignore a bad, re uh, a bad review, you're wrong because not responding to a negative review is also responding. So it's telling everyone that sees this bad review that you don't care. <laughs> and so, and we, and we know that's not right. <laughs> so responding to complaints can help increase um, your customer support and, and not responding to a bad review decreases that customer support. Also, make sure to resolve the issue. Don't just respond and then not resolve the issue. Make sure to follow up and resolve the issue too. But before responding back completely to this review, fully think it out, um, get a second opinion before you submit your response. You know, ask a friend or a family member, mm, I, I kind of put that in there, but I'm going to take it out. Ask a coworker who um, understands the business as well to double check your reply for a message, you know, and, and make sure that the tone reads well too as well, because sometimes your tone can come across in your text miscommunicated um, or misunderstood. Look at the positive in the negative. So if you get a bad review, really look what, at what the person wrote and what they're saying. Were they unhappy with a staff member? Did they have a bad experience um, at your location? Uh, did your product or service not really work out or wasn't what they expected? You know, if you really evaluate the positive and the negative of what the customer has said, you might discover some bigger issues um, that you need to work on at your company, which in the end could be a positive. <laughs> so customer service is out in public now when responding back to reviews. 75% of customers believe that it takes too long to reach a live agent on the phone, which is why they're now leaving reviews. So that means uh, the more people are using social media and review sites like Google uh, to get customer service and also to voice their opinion. Um, and once you've responded back, once you've resolved the issue, and once you've talked it over with that in individual, ask for a do-over. You know, if you've worked closely with them, an unhappy customer to, to really resolve the situation, just politely ask them to update or change their review to reflect the situation that has been resolved. And in the process of receiving um, negative reviews, I'd also like to encourage you to get more positive reviews. So if you get a bad review about your business, you wanna try and get a few more positive reviews to kind of push down that negative review. There are a lot of tools on the market out there that can help you monitor, manage, and get um, online reviews from customers. We have what we call our reputation management system. So if you come into our reputation management system, what it does is it shows you your online reviews. Um, it shows you some feedback reviews, which I'm not going to get into this today because it's not the topic, but it also shows you what your review trends are as far as how many reviews you asked for, what your feedback was, how many online reviews you have based off of the individuals that you asked to leave you a review. And there are so many other tabs in here that I, I'll show you, but it's not on the topic today. So I just wanted to give you an example. <laughs> um, 
monitoring your reviews, just like I said, it's just important to know what customers are saying about your business online. You know, it's good to look and see if somebody left a bad review about your company. And it's also good to see if somebody left a uh, five-star review for your company. And um, so you can use our online reputation management system to see what your customers are saying about your business on, um, on online reviews. <laughs> okay, so here are some, you know, we receive this question a lot, which is our company has received a negative review. How do we respond? So um, we uh, I'm just gonna address this, this question that we receive a lot. And if you receive an alert for a negative review, like I said, it's very important to be empathetic with your response. So below we've put together a list of options for responding to a negative review. If you would like this list, type in, um, I don't know, negative review response. <laughs> and we'll send, you, we'll send you a copy of this list. <laughs> First one is, please accept our sincere apologies for state the problem. We would love the chance to make this right and would like to invite you back to and then state your business for, you know, percentage off of your next visit. The second option is, when a customer takes the time to leave a review online, we listen. We want to apologize for and really state the problem so they understand that you've heard um, what they're saying and let you know that we have taken the necessary steps to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Please know that your experience was an isolated occurrence and that the management and staff would love another chance at impressing you. Third, it is our goal to treat every person who walks through our doors as a VIP customer. When our team falls short, of the standard and a customer walks away dis dissatisfied, then we have a real problem. We want to apologize for our less than outstanding experience and would like to invite you back to show you just how amazing our team can be. Okay, just a second, I'm, I saw a comment that says there's no sound. Okay, hi Patricia, how are you? I just checked and there is sound. Um, I can meet with you later and we can work on this together. <laughs> okay, number four is we hear you loud and clear. Your feedback is more than understandable. We appreciate that you took the time to let us know and we will be implementing your suggestions in the near future. Visit us again to see what a difference your review made. Number five, we greatly value the opinions of our customers at State Your Business. We work hard every day to ensure that our customers' needs are being met. Thank you very much for your review. Um, number six, everyone has an off day, even amazing businesses. I'd like to apologize for this unfortunate state the incident. <laughs> Please give us a second chance and see the staff. We are really made up. Um, visit us again and receive a, you know, give a percentage off of your next visit. Number seven, we apologize for the unfortunate experience and regret, regret that it happened at all. Our number one goal is customer satisfaction. While we can apologize for this unfortunate situation, sometimes that's just not enough to say we are sorry. We invite you to connect our store manager and then give the phone number and let us know how we can make it up to you. Number eight, it's understandable that you would be upset after and then state the experience. Always, if you're noticing, um, if you're noticing a common thing in all of these, it's always stating what the client has left as far as, re as, far as the review, stating the experience that they're referring to because you've really got to, um, from the core of your being, explain that you understand where they're coming from and understand what ex what they've experienced, okay? So, and then um, to carry on with number eight, <laughs> we definitely do not want to lose you or anyone as a customer as a result of this bad experience. Please contact our store manager and then it leaves, you know, give the phone number and let us know how we can better serve you. Um, number nine, your opinion is very valuable to us at you state your business. <laughs> we take each and every customer suggestion into consideration. 
Thank you very much for your review. And then number 10, an unsatisfied customer is rare and we take your feedback very seriously. Please accept our deepest apology for your unfortunate experience. So those are some examples. Once again, um, I'd like to invite you to take our reputation quiz that we have. Um, so in order to find out what your online reputation score is, make sure to type in the word reputation quiz so that you can take that uh, quiz and find out what your online reputation score is. I'm going to check the comments, see if there's any questions. Yes, Ryan, our um, CEO of the company, Ryan Steinelson is also um, in the comments. If everyone wants to tell him hi or ask him questions, go ahead. <laughs> Um, can you email a copy of these explanations? It, yes, if you can type in, um, let's see, what was the word that I said? Negative review list. Responding to negative reviews. Type in the word responding to negative reviews and we'll send that list to you as well. And, and yes, Patricia, I'll send it to you. <laughs> um, and then let's see one more thing here. Um, just to give you, um, uh, just to let you know, Monday through Friday, I am live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. This week, I'm talking about reviews and your online reputation. Next week will be all about local SEO. And then the week after that is Google My Business because we all know that beast is beautiful. <laughs> So today, my homework for you is to sign in and take a look at your reviews and respond to them. And if you have any questions, let us know. Send us a message at m.me slash accelerate marketing. And tomorrow, I'm very excited because I'll be interviewing the CEO of our company, Brian Steinelson, and we'll be asking him some questions about how online reviews um, impact your revenue. So if you have any questions tomorrow for our CEO, please comment below or send us a message, like I said, at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. And I'll make sure to get your questions answered um, while Ryan is live here tomorrow. Um, and lastly, one more time, don't forget to type in the word reputation quiz to discover what your online score is. See you tomorrow, everyone, and create a great rest of your day. Bye.